Hi students, welcome to the session. I am Dr. K. Varadaras Kumar, Associate Professor, Department of CSE, AML, MLR Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. In this class, we are going to learn about Q implementation using linked list. So, what of the session? In this session, first we are going to see so Q definition, introduction to Q. After that, we see the linked list to our view. After that, we discuss about the Q operation and we discuss about linked list based Q implementation. So, after that, we are going to see the different operations. So, performing on Q, those are NQ operation, DQ operation, and display operation. Okay. So, outcome of this lecture at the end of this lecture, you all are understand how to implement Q using linked list. So, what is Q? Q is a linear data structure that follows first in first out principle. In Q, elements are added at one end called rear and removed from the other end called front. The first element added to the Q is the first element to be removed. So, let us discuss with one example. Let us assume this is the Q. In this Q, I want to insert these elements 15, 25, 18, 9. Okay. Now, first element, what is the first element? 15. So, I insert 15 here. What is the second element? 25. Next element, 18. Next element, 9. Now, if I try to delete an element from Q, then 15 will be deleted first. Why? The Q property is first in, first out. So, first inserted element will be first deleted. Okay. In our previous classes, we discussed in detail about Q. If you have any doubts about Q data structure, then refer those videos. So, linked list. What is linked list? A linked list is a fundamental data structure in computer science and programming used to store and manage collection of data. In this example, 15, 25, 18, 9, I organized with the help of array. The same data I will organize with the help of linked list also. Linked list. How? So, each node is stored in a structure node. 15 is stored in the data part. And next part, we are going to store address of next node. Here, let us assume this is the 101 is address of 25. Then, we link like this. Okay. So, let us assume this is the 201. Okay. So, after 50, 25, 18. After 18, 9. Now, the address of 18 here, the address of 9 we store here. End of, end of the queue, we identify with the help of null. Okay. The linked list consists of sequence of elements, each of which contains a reference to the next element in the sequence. In this example, the 15 have the reference of next number 25, that is 101 here. Okay. Similarly, 25 has the reference of 18. 18 has the reference of 9 here. Okay. So, this is how we organize linked list. So, Q operations. In Q, we have three operations. One is NQ, another one is DQ, another one is display. So, NQ means insert a new element into Q. That operation we call as NQ. DQ means delete an element from Q. So, that operation we call as DQ. So, display means it display elements in Q. So, NQ operation adds an element to the rear of the Q. It is used to insert new elements into the Q. The newly added element becomes the last in the Q. So, what is the rear means? Let us assume this is the Q. These are the elements present in the Q. Now, this end we called as rear. Now, if I try to insert another element, that means increment the rear value. Here, I am going to insert new element. Okay. Now, DQ means, so DQ removes and returns the element at the front of the Q. This is the front end. Okay. So, this part we call as a front end. This part we call as a rear end. Now, if you try to delete an element from the Q, then you are going to delete from front end. So, it is easy to retrieve and remove the oldest element from the Q. So, oldest means, so first inserted number that is 15. So, display function we use to display elements in 
queue. So now we see linked list based queue implementation. To implement a queue using a linked list, we need to create a data structure that combines the principles of both linked list and stack. So what is the linked list principle? Elements is organized in the form of nodes. Okay, so data is stored in data part and the next node address we are going to store as a next. Okay, and what is the principle of queue? In queue, we are going to use friend and rare. For insertion, we use rare. For deletion, we use friend. Now, combining these two structures, we are going to implement queue. Okay, for that, we define two structures. One is node, another one is queue. So, node have data part and next part and queue have front and rear values okay if we implement the queue using array then the initial value of front equals to minus one rear equals to minus one here we are trying to implement the queue using linked list so the initial values of front and rear are null here okay now what is the purpose of create queue now the create queue function will initialize this front and rear value with Null. Now we see NQ operation. So NQ means inserting an element into Q. So NQ an element into the Q. Enter an element into Q now. Now the initially we are taking the front and rear as null. So so front equals to null, rear equals to null. These are the initial values. Okay. Now I try to insert an element triple one that means we call the function nq now what is the data triple one is data and so here we are going to create new node one new node is created one new node is created okay it has some address let us assume 101 is address now this 101 is assigned to new node here now new node arrow data equals to data what is the data triple one a new node arrow next equals to null. Initially, I am taking this as a null. Here we call the is empty function. So, what is the is empty function? The is empty function will check friend equals to equals to null. If friend equals to equals to null, it returns true. So, in this case, we get the value true. Why the friend value equals to null here? So, I make friend and rear value with new node. So, instead of null, what is the front value? 101. What is the rear value? 101. That's it. Now, if I try to insert another node, let us assume the data is 322. Now, another new node is created, 322. And make the next as a null. And now, we check is empty function. Here, what is the front value? The front value is 101. 101 equals to equals to null. So, no, it is false. So, we move to else. Okay. Except creation of first node, in remaining all the cases, we go to else part only. Now, so Q arrow, rare arrow, next. What is the rare here? Rare is 101. 101 arrow next is, this is the place, equals to new node. Let us assume 201 is address, 201. Now, this is the link. And update the rare with 201. Now, front is indicating here 101. Now, this is the rare. Okay. Now, if I try to create another node, 333. Now, another node is created. Initially, it is none. Let us assume address is 401. Now, go to else part. Rare arrow next. 20 arrow next is new node. That is 401. And update rare. That is 401. If I insert another node. Let us assume the address is triple four five zero one. Now rare arrow next is new node that is five zero one, and it is null. Okay, and update rare five zero one. Okay, so in this way we are going to insert new node in Q. Now we see DQ function. The purpose of DQ function is delete an element from Q. Here I call DQ function. So DQ Q here. Now, this function will invoke. So, here also we call is empty function. Is empty means we are going to check friend equals to equals to null or not. That means there is no nodes created. If you try to delete an element from Q, then we print Q is empty here. 
okay in this case what is the front value 201 so 201 equals to equals to null no it returns false so we move to here okay here i am taking one temporary variable and i assign so front value to temp now what is the temp temp equals to friend what is the friend 201 and i update friend with next value so temp arrow next value 201 arrow next is 101 so now temp front equals to 101 now okay and i store the data in data variable and return i delete the temp that is 201 will be deleted and i return this data to called function so here we print dq item item is double one okay here i write another condition q r of front equals to equals to null what it means if there is only one node present in the q let us assume 201 here the data let us assume here null here why there is only one node so in this case so q r of front 201 r of front is null so when we delete this node along with we are going to initialize rare equals to null okay why one node is deleted what is the initial values of front and rare null so i initialize rare with null here okay so now we see so how to display elements in q so display q function i call the display function so now so let us take this as a q what is the front for this q the front is 101 rare equals to 301 okay now we display from front to rare so every time here we are checking that i take one variable current and i initialize this current with the front value that is 101 and i check the current not equals to null what is the current here 101 101 not equals to null yes it is true so print the data in 101 what is the data here 1 1 and i update the current with current arrow next what is the current arrow next here 201 so this is the 201 again we check the condition 201 not equals to null yes it is true so again we print the data so 25 next update the current with current arrow next that is 401 so 401 not equals to null yes it is true again we print the data and update the current what is the current 401 arrow 401 arrow next is 501 not equals to null yes it is true again we print the data in 501 that is 9 and update the current equals to current arrow next that is 301 301 not equals to null yes it is true so again we print the data in 301 that is 15 and current equals to current arrow next now it is null null not equals to null is false so now we terminate the loop and print null okay so this is the output for this q 11 25 18 9 15 okay summary of the session in this session we discussed about three operations in q one is nq dq and display so nq means adding an element into stack dq means deleting removing an element from the q and display means so display the elements in q nq we use rare in dq we use front okay in next class we are going to see how to implement q using linked list in c programming